In this video, I am going to show you how to draw Lexis lines or life lines using R, R Studio, and a package called Happy. First of all, we are going to load the package. I have already installed this library. So we'll run this one. The package is installed. Next step, we are going to use the command read CSV to read our data set in R. In this data set, we have birth date, date of infusion or data transplant for the patients, date of last contact for the patient, patient status, in verbose form or text form, and patient status which is coded one for the expired patients and zero for the censored patients. Let's look at the data using str command and you see that we have 25 observation of eight variables, ID, birth date, infusion date, last contact, patient status, and some other variables in which we are not interested for the timing. We can use view command to look at the data in a better format, in a tabular format. Our next step is to convert the dates into the fractional years. So we are going to use these three commands to convert these three dates, birth date, infusion date, and date of last contact into fractional years. And let's view our data now. So you see that uh, with the same data frame, now we have BR, TR, and EX. These are the birth year, transplant year, and exit year, or the date of last contact year. So all of these dates have now been converted into fractional years. Once done, what we can do is that we can use this command to create a Lexis object. So this command, or creating a Lexis object, is going to need date of entry, date of exit, exit status, and the data frame we're going to use. Let's run this command. And we can use in plot command, we can plot our Lexis data. So these are the Lexis lines or lifelines plotted in a very simple default way. You can use py.nn command to display the follow-up time. Or you can use plot command type B to show the terminators in, at the end of the Lexis lines. You can use this plot command coupled with the points command to display another type of plot. So this plot is showing you all the 25 patients, 25 lines, with the three lines having these terminators for those patients who have expired. This point command is going to serve the same purpose to show the points at the end of these lines for expired patients. Let's use this enhanced plot command to display a plot of Lexis lines in which we are going to use two colors, blue and red. Blue for those patients who have censored and red for those patients who have expired. So let's run this command and see what happens. This is the end product of our plot and points command. And you can see that uh, there are three patients who have expired. These lines are starting from the birth date of the patient. Sometimes we are not interested in lines starting from the birth date of the patients. We're only interested in lines starting from certain event, for example, date of diagnosis or date of transplant. So next we are going to draw the lines, Lexus lines and life lines, starting from the data transplant. For this, we have to create another column, which is age at transplant, using this simple command. We're going to subtract the transplant date from the birth date. Let's run this command, and let's view our data. So if you see that age at, age at transplant is 12.9, 12.1, calculated from these two dates is being played. Let's run the access object command. 
let's plot it and you can see that now the lines are only depicting the follow-up time i will go directly to the last command the plot and points command to show our plot if you look at this plot you will see that these lines are not starting from the birth rate of the patients they are rather starting from the date of transplant of the patients and if you look closely three patients with red lines who have expired two of them they expired very early during the first 100 days of their transplant that's it and i hope you have learned something from this tutorial keep on learning happy learning